I want to talk to the people out there who have chronic pain, who have decreased mobility, who deal with fatigue. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis when I was two. I'm now in my 42nd year with the disease, and I am still learning. I'm learning about myself, and I'm learning about the disease. One of the biggest epiphanies that I had in the last few years was recognizing what I was saying to myself. You're so lazy. Why can't you just get off the couch? You can't even make your bed. No wonder you're overweight. You never move. That wasn't an outside voice. That was an inner voice. It was the dialogue that was constantly running in my own mind. And then I realized one day that, holy jeez, I say things to myself that I would never say to anyone else, ever. And I decided to shut that voice off. I decided that my body was a place where only positivity would live. Started talking to myself in the mirror, and yes, I felt crazy. <laughs> I really did. I felt crazy. And it wasn't easy. Because I would look at myself in the mirror, and I would immediately go into, oh, look at my hair. Oh, this, 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 and this is wrong with me. Why can't I be more like? And I would leave that mirror feeling worse than I did before I looked into it. So again, I started paying attention and I started undoing those words and I started changing them to, you're beautiful, you're perfect. Whatever you do today is enough. I started setting smaller goals for myself. So I would wake up in the morning and I would decide. I'm going to do this, 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 and this today. Or when I went to bed, oftentimes the night before, I would say, tomorrow I'm going to accomplish da 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 And I'll wake up in the morning and the fatigue would be there again. And I'll go get my coffee and come back downstairs and sit on the couch. And that would be it. And I would beat myself up. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Guys, we are our biggest, biggest critic. We all know this, right? But when you actually start paying attention to the things that you're saying in your own mind, you realize that you may be your biggest enemy.